So, can you tell us about the backstory of February 17th? Terry Ferdinand, Black Lion Realty. All right, so what's your occupation at Black Lion Realty? I am the principal broker. My name is Shan, Shanisha Shan Ferdinand. Uh, what's your occupation at Black Lion? I'm a co-owner, co-owner, property manager, um, doctor, lawyer, pediatrician, veterinarian, all of that. Um, and can you tell us about February 17th? Tell us the backstory about that. Oh. Um, so we started planning a mixologist course on, oh my gosh, probably September, October-ish of 2023. Shan decided she wanted to do something different. I suggested a mixology event and I told her I'll help her plan it. Well, I'll be the main person planning the event for her. Um, we secured a mixologist. We secured uh, a venue hall. Uh, we bought alcohol, food, secured, you know, desserts, the whole nine. So the day of the event was crazy. We we had one of our main vendors, our bartender, cancel on on us at. 8.45 the night before. I didn't see the email till like 2.20 in the morning. Just finished doing homework. Didn't see the email till early in the morning, so. Um, less than, I think it was like eight hours, less than eight to 10 hours before the event was supposed to happen. So yeah, we didn't have a mixologist and the whole event was a mixology course. So she was kind of the main event, the main attraction. Yeah, no, 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 I, I called out to the Thundercats, you know what I'm saying? Through the little light in the sky. You know, made a couple phone calls, called a couple people on the team, called a couple of the, uh, couple of people I knew real close, Richard Davis, um, Miss Beverly, we called those people, um, and we just, we had to find an alternate. I'm on Black Lion time, which means for damn sure we're starting on time. Uh, the bartender is getting there early. All the supplies and all the, the food is getting there early. So. Okay. All right, well, I'll see you later on tonight, then. All right, then. So then tell me about how you shifted on that day. Tell me what you guys had to do. Tell me what you guys had to like go and stuff to make sure the party was well first of all we didn't get any sleep we had to <laughs> not get any sleep but um but we had to change the whole drink menu because the initial mixologist had a, a menu selection you know a menu of drinks that she was going to make and so we had to change the menu option we had to change the drink options so we had to go out we went to sam's club we went to the abc store we went to farm fresh um to buy the items for the new drink menu we are looking for we are trying to find shakers and shot glasses and we're gonna see if we can do something cool with these injection um shots Uh, with that being said, we had to go buy all the things that the current bartender was responsible for. We had to go buy that stuff, cups, utensils, um, chasers. We had to go grocery shopping. It was a lot to do in a short period of time. Montezuma or my favorite um, arrow. Arrow it is. Mm -hmm. so one 
beautiful day. I think we will. We <laughs> party. Thank you. <laughs> Lime. People use these lemons. Yeah, I make tea. In the lime. You gotta get that. If you had to give us um, a percentage of how complete we are, what's a percentage? As far as the shopping, how far are we complete is what mm -hmm. you're asking? Yeah. Um so far for the anticipated like fruit and stuff, we are probably 80%, but we still have to get uh, placemats and other type of decor and stirs and stuff like that, so. What's your percentage? Uh, I would say 70%, we get 70. Me personally, get a bunch of these little ones because we still haven't figured out the logistics of how they're going to maneuver to get their supplies. I mean, is that six? Here, ginger ale. No, it's your Might be on the aisle with the wine. Oh, yes. Side quest, Shane? Huh? I said, you said you side quest? Side quest, yes. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all come into this event and y'all diabetic, bring your pens, bring whatever you need to bring with you because this is a bad day. Huh? Diabetic. They ain't no pen. So they, uh, the injections? Oh, they, they, it's different now, oh, yeah. Different? They, no, 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 they, they might be the needles. Yeah. I mean the pens now. Yeah, pens, needles, whatever you gotta bring because this is not a healthy situation happening. This is a good time, but not a healthy situation. Problems that happen during the day. Did the party plan out like you wanted to plan out? So first and foremost, one thing that you learn when you're in this business or any business is you gotta be flexible. You gotta learn to move and pivot, right? So we started off and being that we had a new bartender, we had new drink menus, we had this sort of thing. Um, we had to plan out different logistics on how it was gonna go because the personality was really gonna drive the massage course. Right, 
today has been crazy. And honestly, I want to sit in the corner and cry because our mixologist canceled on us eight o'clock last night and we had to secure somebody else and we've been running around today like chickens with our heads cut off. But we gonna make this happen. Okay, boom, 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 boom. For that is the lime juice. Definitely a bunch of soap. So all of that, we get to the party. Mm -hmm. How was the party? The party was actually great. I was very nervous at first because um, we had finished buying everything that we needed probably an hour and a half prior to the start of the event and I knew we had to come back and we had to come to the venue and set everything up and um, I had to go buy a few gifts for a giveaway. Um, and so I was nervous, but when I got here, after leaving um, the store for buying the gifts, everything was set up nicely. They just had to put, put a few finishing touches on um, the venue hall. Um, all the food was set up, all the desserts were set up. It, it, it turned out to be a great event. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the last video. We have another event coming up, the Sunset Soiree at Hampton Convention Center on... June 8th, 2024. We're gonna have live music, good food, cocktails. Come on out and have a good time. As the sun goes down, the drinks go up. So join us then. RSVP link will be live pretty soon.